Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel, myself Dr. Amit Kumar Maheshwari. In today's video, we will see what are the various type of acutes are available and what are their uses. In clinical laboratory, there are uh, so many type of blood collection tubes are available and this blood collection tubes are coated by different colors depending on the presence of various additives in, in them. So, we will see what are this, uh, what are this uh, various type of acutanals and what are their uses? The very commonly used vacuum tanner is EDTA tube, which is lavender in color and it contains ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid in it. So that is EDTA tube and use of EDTA tube is it is most commonly used for the collection of blood for the CBC that is complete blood cell count. Second use is you can do blood grouping from it. Third use is you can also do ESR by Windrobes method and the fourth use is HbA1c that is glycated hemoglobin and you can also do PCR from the EDTA tube. So these are the various uses of EDTA tube. Now second vacuum that is red in color, the cap of the vacuum is red in color so that is plain vacuum. Plain vacuum doesn't contain any type of additive but it can contain clot activator. So that is plain vacutainers and the uses of plain vacutainers are almost all the biochemistry tests like RFT, LFT, uric acid, various enzymatic tests, various hormones tests and serology tests like HIV, HBSAG, malaria card, dengue card. All these tests can be done from the plain vacutainers. And the, on the centrifugation or in the plain vacutainers, what you are getting that is serum. Serum is basically defibrinated plasma which doesn't contain any clotting factor as well as fibrinogen. So that is plain vacutainer. While in the EDTA vacuum on the centrifugation uh, you get is plasma. So that is plain vacutainer. Third one and uh, nowadays uh, this yellow color tube are also used in all biochemistry tests and all for the hormonal test, this, uh, this vacuums are called as a gel vacuums. It contains polymer gel inside it and it is generally yellow or golden in color. So that is called as a gel vacuum. Third one is, there is gray in color. So gray color of cap, gray color cap is available and it is called as a sodium fluoride tube or fluoride tube. And the you only use of this sodium fluoride tube is it is used for the glucose estimation because the fluoride which is present in, present in it, it inhibits the enolase enzyme of the glycolytic pathway. That's why we can get the exact amount of glucose in the blood. So that is sodium fluoride tube. Then another one tube is that is light blue in color. It is sodium citrate tube. The use of this sodium citrate tube is for the prothrombin time PT, for the APTT and for the fibrinogen and other coagulation studies. So that is the use of this sodium citrate tube. The tube is, that is dark green in color. It is called as a sodium heparin tube. And the use of this sodium heparin tube is, it is used for the ABG and for the electrolyte. ABG is the arterial, arterial blood gas analysis and electrolytes are the sodium, potassium and chloride. So that is the sodium heparin tube. And the last one is, that is called as a trisodium citrate tube. It is black in color and the use of this trisodium citrate tube is, it is used for the ESR by Western Green method. So these are the various, uh, various commonly used uh, vacuum tainers in the clinical labor laboratory that is biochemistry, pathology and microbiology. Hope you all have, hope you all like my video. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Biochemistry Basics by Dr.